Being confident as an introvert is not something that happens overnight. In fact, being confident in general is not something that happens overnight. I do feel like I am someone who is well-versed in this topic and someone who can speak on this topic. And not because I consider myself this extremely confident person, but because I'm an introvert, because I have struggled with severe social anxiety, I know what it's like to be in that place where you want to be alone all the time, where you don't feel like the world knows you or understands you. And now I've gotten to a place where I do feel that way. I do feel like I can be understood. I can be myself. I can be vulnerable and uncomfortable around the people in my life. So in today's video, I want to talk about not just being confident as an introvert, but why we as introverts and people who struggle with social anxiety, why we feel like no one understands us, why we feel like we can't be ourselves. Now, before we get into the video, I just wanted to quickly welcome those of you who are new. My name is Bridget. On this channel, you'll find me talk a lot about introverts, about social anxiety, general anxiety, other mental health related things. So if any of that interests you, make sure you go check out some of my other videos. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful or useful. Comment below what you'd like to see more from me and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. So let's get into the video. People ask me all the time, how do you consider yourself an introvert? If you're putting videos online that can be seen by potentially hundreds and thousands, if not millions of people, how can you still be an introvert if you're comfortable doing that? Yes, it is a complicated answer because when I started making these videos, if you look back at those earlier videos, you'll see that my personality, my behavior, the way I talk to the camera is so drastically different. One of the reasons I started this channel was to get uncomfortable. At the time I had been reading, I think one of Jen Sincero's books, and she had been talking about this topic of getting uncomfortable and doing the hard things and doing the things that you, you don't normally do. We tend to fall in routine and we get comfortable and we just, we stay stuck, right? So we're not able to achieve those larger goals or even, even the smaller goals if we're stuck in that position, we're stuck in that mindset. And so I wanted to do something that I was so terrified to do. Get in front of a camera, be seen, be heard. And I started doing it and the videos were awful. I sounded awful. I was all over the place and I hated doing it. I was so uncomfortable doing it. And then it got a little bit easier. And then I found myself having more to speak about, getting more comfortable in front of the camera. I was able to open up a little bit more, get a little bit more vulnerable. And so that process of putting myself online, getting uncomfortable, it didn't happen overnight. I didn't get confident in front of a camera overnight. It took years. And so, yes, I am an introvert and yes, I am comfortable in front of the camera. And answering that question, I said, it, it's a process that takes a lot of time, but it's also a process that I chose to do. And the reason I chose to do it was to get uncomfortable because I knew doing those things would help me achieve certain things that I wanted to achieve. I think we look at introverts as people who are like alone all the time and they act like hermits and they don't want to be around people ever. And that's a stigma that I think not only is untrue, but it really just, it puts all of introverts and people with even social anxiety in, in this box where they feel like they can't achieve certain things. And you may not even know how many introverts you're surrounded with on your day-to-day -day basis. If you look at some, let's say like more famous people who are introverts, you might not even know. Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Albert Einstein, JK Rowling, Meryl Streep. These are people who are a lot of the time very outspoken, very outgoing seemingly, who put themselves out there, who are constantly being the face of products and movies and books and so many other things, they chose to do that career. When they went into their careers, they didn't 
ask to be interviewed, they didn't ask to be put on, you know, a stage speaking in front of thousands of people. They didn't ask for that, but it comes with the job, right? And they can do that. Not because they want to do that, because they have to do that. There are many, many people, like 50% of the population, let's say, who are introverted and who do extroverted things. I think confidence with being an introvert comes with practice and knowing whether you're being true to yourself or whether you're putting yourself in that box. I had to ask myself a really hard question pretty recently actually. And it was, am I an introvert or am I just not willing to do certain things or be seen by certain people? Is there a part of me that still feels like I'm not worthy enough? And that unworthiness is what many people with social anxiety and many introverts struggle with. Am I not worthy to be seen? For me, that fear of putting myself out there, that fear of, of being afraid to be so flawed, so deeply flawed in front of people, that came with my severe social anxiety that I struggled with in the past. And so I asked myself that question because I think at certain times, especially a couple years ago, I mean, most of my life pretty much, I had been using this excuse that I'm just shy. I'm. I'm awkward, I'm introverted. And I would use that excuse so that I didn't have to put myself in those hard positions, so that I didn't have to confront people and show the bad parts of myself, the flawed parts of myself. And while doing that is comfortable, it's easy, you're living in that box, it's, it's no way to live. It's not healthy and it's not serving you or the people in your life. When I'm not my full self, when I'm not showing all the, the bad parts of myself, how can I expect myself to foster those, those really strong relationships? When you think about a really good relationship in your life, whether like you have a best friend or your siblings or your parents or whoever, whoever that you have a really strong relationship with, ask yourself, are you showing all the parts of yourself? And if it's a good relationship, you are. You are showing all the parts of yourself, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. So when you're not showing the bad parts, you're not, you're not showing yourself and you're always left with this feeling like, I will never be understood, I will never be known. And you'll live in this, not only this comfort zone, but this place where you'll never want to mess up or make a mistake and you'll never learn anything you'll never grow you'll never change you'll never achieve the things that you want to achieve those people that i listened in the beginning they didn't get to that place of maybe not liking being in front of a crowd but being able to get in front of a crowd and being super successful and having their goals achieved they didn't get to that place without messing up and making a fool of themselves and getting uncomfortable being in front of crowds and socializing with people they don't want to necessarily socialize with. They did it by being vulnerable, by getting uncomfortable. I used to only like showing up to places or even just being around people when I looked my best, when I felt energized and not tired, when I was happy and fulfilled and felt like things were going right. And again, that's not healthy. I'm not showing all the parts of myself. I need to show up even when I feel like shit. I need to show up when I'm not happy and I look a mess and you know, it's just, it's, it's the ugly side of me. I need to show up when I am like that because if I don't, in front of these people, in front of those relationships, they're never going to know who I really am. I think the thing with, with confidence is that people feel like you either have it or you don't. And maybe there are some of you who feel like you can learn it. Being able to be confident or even learning confidence is not like reading a book or watching a video and being able to replicate a certain task. 
It's like learning a new hobby, learning the piano or how to play basketball. It takes work, it takes practice, it takes showing up when you don't wanna show up, doing it, making mistakes, failing over and over and over again. The only way you'll get confidence is when you've done it enough times. If you've done a particular task many, many, many times, you're like, okay, I got this, right? Whereas if you've never done something before, you're like, I don't know, I might mess up. That's confidence. It's when you show up when you don't want to and you do it over and over again. And so being confident as an introvert is again asking yourself that question. Am I using this excuse? Am I using it as an excuse? Am I not doing the things I don't want to do? Am I staying stuck in this box? And it's, it's hard, it's a hard question to ask yourself. If you want to be confident, regardless if you're an introvert or not, you have to get uncomfortable. You have to do the things you don't want to do. Just because you're an introvert doesn't mean you don't socialize and you can't put yourself out there and you can't show up when, even when you just want to be alone because sometimes you have to show up when you don't want to be alone. I used to be the type of person where I would use that as an excuse. I would say, you know, like, I'm shy. Like, I don't need to be around those people. I don't need to be in a group setting. I'm, I prefer to be alone. I'm comfortable alone. I'm happy alone, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, sometimes that's not healthy, even as an introvert who gets that energy from being alone. Sometimes you have to, even when you don't want to. And it goes the same for extroverts even. Sometimes you have to be alone even when you don't want to be alone. We all need equal time to energize ourselves with being alone and energize ourselves with being with people. And if it's hard for you to get to that space, and if it's hard for you to be confident enough to get to that space, you need to start asking yourself those questions of whether you're hiding it because part of you feels unworthy. I asked myself that question many times. Talking to someone about it and getting the right resources when you do feel like you're in that place is so, so important. So confidence is hard and it doesn't happen overnight. So that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you watched all the way through, I hope you guys enjoyed. It got some use out of it as always, and I will see you next time.